Yeah. G'day folks, this is the Coffee Bush Kid in Central Vic, and I'm in our kitchen. Uh, we're going to do a, a uh, short-ish video on electrolysis. Paul from Cointector uh, asked me if I'd think about doing one. I thought that I would. I've had a couple of other people ask me about how my coins get all cleaned up. So this is what we're going to do. Now, I will give a whole lot of disclaimers right at the start. Uh, some people say you shouldn't clean your coins up. Some people say they're my coins. I'm going to do it. And that's exactly right. But what you should probably do is before you clean a coin, find out if it's worth heaps. Like, you know, if it's if it's worth a squillion and you don't want them to really, uh, be damaged or anything like that, well, well, don't clean them up. But, you know, what's that one there, 1926 uh, sixpence? Five dollars, if that. Yeah, it looks a bit cruddy. I like them nice and shiny in my collection. Uh, so I'm going to clean it. And if you don't want to clean your coins, don't clean your coins. It's pretty much simple as that. Now, the apparati that I am using, uh, Petey Ua, he made it for me. So it's just a 9, 12 volt adapter. And he has attached uh, plugs or alligator clips and so forth on the ends of it for us. Now, the cable with the white line or the white dotted line, that is your positive. And that goes to the uh, anode, or the, the piece of steel, or in this case, actually, I'm using uh, aluminium. Uh, and then the black wire, which is the negative one, goes to, <clears throat> as we can see here, the coin. Now that is a very, very cruddy uh, florin. Now, the other thing that happens too, the, the next little piece of disclaimer, is that coins after 1946, so the 50% silver, sometimes they clean up well, Sometimes they don't. They get this, really, here's, here's one here I prepared earlier. It gets that coppery look to it. I'm taking it because it's 50% copper. Mind you, this was a pretty cruddy coin, so to get any shine out of it was pretty good in the first place. But the, the nine, uh, 0.925 jobs, they come out really, really well. Now... You can see how cruddy that one is. I thought we'd try him first. Now these are the ones from the silver rubbish dump that I did. And uh, they they may have had some chemical over them. I know on the, on the other one, the other tips and tricks that I did from a hospital rubbish dump. Yeah, look, they didn't clean up well. Alrighty, so I've got to mix myself up some new water. So this is my pre-mixed container, which has two parts bicarb soda and one part non-iodized uh, sea salt. And for one litre of the water, I want one and a half tablespoons. One and Roughly a half-ish. So there we go. Now, there is no product placement here. It's just what I use. If you find something else, use something else. That's what I've got. Don't have to be the same. Anyway, we will fill that up with water and we'll be set to go. You get container, flat container, flat bottom container. I've got my piece of aluminium under my black and white. Uh, wire there. I've got my coin with the small alligator clip on the black wire. I'm going to put the solution in. 
of the two parts bicarb, uh, one part unironized salt uh, into uh, the water there. And at that point, you've got to cover the coin and the anode completely. You can see there we've done all that. So I'm going to actually switch that on, which it's now on. And it sort of takes a little while. You can see there's a little bit of movement happening around the, the anode there. A few, few bubbles coming. But eventually the uh, silver coin it'll start bubbling away and looking like it's bloody cooking on a on a rolling boil in fact you can see the the bubbles starting to come off that i uh i usually leave them in for a couple of minutes and then i will clean them i'll show you how to do that when we get to that part uh if it doesn't clean up as much as you'd like well put it in for longer and you can do it time and time again, if you like, but I usually find a couple of minutes. This one being really cruddy, it uh, it may take a lot longer, but you can see all the stuff coming off. When we uh, take it out of the solution to clean up, oh, another thing, don't go sticking your bloody fingers in there when the power's on. Always switch the power off first. Jeez, look at that going now. Switch the power off first before you take the coin out or stick your finger in there or, or whatever. Don't play with electricity. It'll all end in tears and it'll be a shocking experience. So when we go to take that out, I have a pre-prepared bowl of bicarb soda and that'll come out black and we can give it a bit of a wash and it'll sort of gray off. But then when you clean it with the bicarb, it's like a, a bit of a wet paste. Um, oh, they come up a bloody treat. But we'll see that at that point. So I reckon we might fade out and let that do its job. And we'll come back when it's ready. All right, we are back. There it is. It's cooked away quite nicely. And so I'm going to stop that now. Turn that off so it's safe to get hold of. And I will hand over to my magnificent assistant. Look at that, we've just done the swap. You didn't even know I let go. So, there's what we've got left. So it looks like that. Still as cruddy as sort of ever. Now we come over to the sink. When you come over to the sink, you can see that I'm rubbing this. Just dump my thumb into some of the bicarb. And then I'm starting to rub. I'll get a bit more. You can see that that's coming up better, but I reckon this is gonna need to go back in again and probably have a bit more of a of a cook, I reckon. People say, oh, it's rubbing all the detail off. No, nah, no, not really. But I do believe this will need another going with. But let's just clean that off and we'll see what we are left with. So from what we were to that isn't bad, but you can see that slight copper tint to the coin see that's been really bad I, I don't know what's been eating that in the ground so it wasn't the best of coins to start with but yeah it'll look better in the book like that anyhow i'll give that another another uh, bit of a cook and we'll come back when it's all cleaned up and sees what see what it looks like but you you get the general gist of what you need to do with that one anyway. All right, we'll come back to you in a tick. All righty, here we are back again. Look at the gleam in that. You'll see that there's just that slight coppery look, just, you know, especially on the emu, but that, 
I don't think that looks too bad. Considering how it was, maybe we'll do it that way. Considering how it was, that's come up a treat. Now the the back end there, see we've still got some cruddy bits in that. Doesn't want to come off. I don't particularly want to give it too much more cooking time. So at that, as to how we started off, I'm happy with that. Now, what we're also gonna do there is our 1931 Florin. Now it's worn, it's got some cruddy bits on it as well. We're gonna put that in the solution right there. And flick on she goes. And we'll let that cook for a while. And uh, and see what happens. That one should come up really, really clean. And then I'm going to do that little um, Queen Elizabeth threepence. That could either come up really well or it could come up really bad. But we'll see. You know, when I say really bad, it'll have that coppery tone to it. But, yeah. How much are they worth? Not that much. What would it look like in my collection? Eh, I reckon it'll look all right. So we, as that boils, we'll come back to you. Right, this is on the last stages of cooking. Uh, now, a running sheet for uh, all the instructions and that will appear down the bottom of the screen now. And you can pause it to read. Or you can go to the description below and we'll have the list down there for you. Now, the thing that I forgot to say was that uh, the, all the instructions Petey Uwa got for me off the internet, so they're someone else's and he's written them for me and I'm going to write them for you. And when you put these alligator clips on, if you aren't savvy with electricity, don't do it. Get a Sparky to do it. If you know what you're doing, then you can carry on and, and do it yourself. But uh, there's another disclaimer for you. But yeah, if you're not confident, get a Sparky or someone that knows electricity to do it for you. All right, well, we're going to stop that and take it out and give it a clean up. And there is our uh, 1931 Florin all cleaned up. And that, I'll try not to get, get it so bright, uh, that cleaned up an absolute treat. There's George V there, gleaming back at us. But you can see the difference between the two. I suppose that is the difference between, you know, 0.925% or 92.5% but silver and 50% with copper involved. Now I've got the uh, little Elizabeth Trippins going at the moment. When you're done, get your coins, put them in the uh, water that you're supposed to have. So they're in there, don't let them touch each other. Otherwise they'll mark and, uh, and you'll have a stained coin. But uh, Always put them in the water. We let them soak for a week just to make sure that there's no um, acidy things on it or whatever. And yeah, they come up all right. Sometimes you might get a little bit of staining in the water, like you can see has been around that shilling. Uh, just take them out, give them a rub, put them back in the water. Oh yeah, wash them off, put them back in the water. If you think the water's a bit sus, change the water. It will evaporate, so just keep an eye on that. But uh, we'll see what, what this one turns out like in a tick. And here, oops, that's just fallen over. Here is our little Elizabeth Thrippence that we cleaned up. And that one, that's turned up an absolute treat. That's a 1953 one. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't glare. But that's turned out absolutely magnificent. The... Uh, there's just a little bit of copperage. You might be able to see that just on one of the bits.
bits of wheat there. But uh, that certainly come up an absolute treat. I've got the last of the George the Sixth. I think it's the fifty-two or whichever one the florin there. That's cooking away. So that one there can go into the water like that. Uh, now, if your water starts to get really, really murky and, and dirty, you can change it. This one's actually staying fairly clean for the amount of crud that's been coming off the coins. So these are the other two coins from out of the uh, silver dump. See, that one's fairly tardy on the back. Remember that, and you can check that one out in the when we finish off. This one looks like it's had something, some acidy buddy stuff spilt on it or something. So we'll see how that one turns out too. But uh, yeah, that, so that's my little sort of quick run through. Uh, I hope it gives some help. It's certainly not the be all and end all, and I will gladly say that uh, PDUR gave me all the information and taught me how to do it because he had a hell of a lot of silver coins to go through. Uh, do it in a bit of a ventilated spot, you know, don't, don't have a little room that you do it in because it does give off gases of a certain description and maybe you will want to use gloves to clean your coins with. Um, I've decided not to but that's just me being me. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that's about all I have. Oh, mark all your containers that you keep all your stuff in. That's another important thing, so no one goes to grab it and uh, grabs the wrong thing. Anyway, I think we might call that quits. I hope that's helped. Uh, demystified it all a bit. It's certainly amazing how they bloody go like that. Uh, and yeah, happy cleaning if you're going to clean them. And enjoy your black coins if you don't want to clean them. And uh, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting. Remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. We'll catch you next time.